Okay, so some of you have asked, why have I quit my investigation on Steve and Kel? Well, because I've decided that they're real. All the evidence points to it. Now, there's still plenty I could do, still more I could try to expose, but if you go to the YouTube uh, community guidelines, under the uh, hitting do not cross the line, there is a point that says there is a zero tolerance for predatory behavior, stalking, threats, harassment, invading privacy, or the revealing of other members' personal information. Anyone caught doing these things will be permanently banned from YouTube. Okay. YouTube has not contacted me. Steve and Kel have been fine with everything I've done so far. There's been plenty of information I have not released from the beginning. But, even before I saw that, I just thought it wasn't necessary to continue on with it because it became very obvious they were real. Um, and they just had really good luck with YouTube. Uh, it was fun while it lasted. But some of y'all got a little too into it. You didn't have to give me Stephen's personal email. You didn't have to give me a full lowdown on his personality. You didn't have to even tell me what his dad does for a living. All that information should be kept guarded, private. It's too, it's too important. Now this isn't aimed at one particular person or user or individual users. I got a lot of this information from several different people, several different occasions over the last week, week and a half, whatever. So don't kick yourself because I don't, I don't think you're a bad person for this. I've learned a lot about YouTube in the last two weeks. I've learned a lot about the internet the last two weeks. Be careful with your information. And guys in Manchester, friends and even some enemies of Steve and Kel, you guys, for, for the safety of them and for everyone, around, you know, all their friends and stuff, just keep the information to yourself. Don't... Try to get high off of their drug. You know, I know they've, they're making it big, maybe a little bit famous. You might be feeling a little jealous. Some of you, some of you are just in, caught up in the game. Um, and I can understand why. I would be caught up in the game too and want to give out information if I knew it. Um, that being said, I'm just glad I got to me and not to some other YouTube users that I thought were going to jump on this investigation before I got a chance to. Uh, investigation sounds so whatever but I, I just want to ask you guys to guard your own personal information guard guard the information of others just as you would want your information guarded I know I hope my friends never come out and do say all my stuff like where exactly I live and and where I work and my schedule for the week or give out my personal email that would suck Steven Kelly uh, congratulations on your third video it was very good good luck with your play and all that I'm actually in the same boat right now um, I am co-directing um, a dinner theater with a friend of mine uh, that's gonna be December 14th so I'll be in theater mode as well and to all my new friends in England, um, it's been great getting to know you guys. Or, well, not just England, UK. Sorry. Um, it's been great getting to know you guys. I only wish this would have happened four weeks earlier so that when I was in England or London for a brief period of time, I could have met up with some of you guys. But, um, oh well, who knows? Maybe I'll be over there soon. You never know. I've got this travel bug now, so I don't want to stay put too long. Maybe I'll have a long holiday, and I'll just end up over there. I just said holiday. Vacation. I'm an American. Vacation. Oh, and uh, keep watching, because hopefully in the next few hours I'm going to post another video, even though it's 2.24 a.m. here. Um, I've got... Another little thing I'm going to investigate. I don't know. Might make it a regular thing around here. It's a lot of fun.